I'm not saying that if you have a scuffling vision, you're a cheater, but I'm saying that the control is so good, you're basically cheating. I mean, you can easily add your aimbot or your macros to the controller. And I can see somebody literally toggling on and off their aimbot with this controller. Bro, the controller allows you to use your keyboard, right? And your controller at the same time. You can use your keyboard on your controller without even moving your hands off the thumbstick. The controller is OP. I'm the best. Let's talk about what comes inside of the box. It comes a little paper right here that tells you to download the software and you need the software if you're gonna use a controller because this is where you're gonna be, you know, setting your profiles and setting up your macros from. It also comes with the controller, of course, and also a wireless receiver. And this wireless receiver is what you use to basically use the controller wirelessly. And the great thing about this dual the Envision is that you can use a controller wireless, wirelessly or wired. So it really gives it that extra convenience and give it that option. However, if you decide to go with something like the cheaper version, which is just the Envision, not the non-pro version, you only can use it wired. So please bear that in mind. It also comes a nice braided cable and it's really long. Honestly, I, I really like this cable. It's it feel premium. It feels like a scuff cable, like, you know? It's exactly what I expect from scuff being so expensive and all. It also comes with a small box with some things. I have no idea what these are. If, if anybody know what these guys, what these are, let me know in the comment section what these are. I just figured out that the little plastic things inside of the little, little box are actually dummies. So basically you put it over the side buttons and the two middle back buttons to prevent them from pressing in case you don't want to use those buttons. That's pretty clever of scuff. I don't even know what these, I don't even know how to use these. It come with a small trim tool and this is what you use to basically remove the face plate. But the face plate is so easy to remove that you don't technically need to use a trim. It comes with a little adapter just in case if your controller has USB-C and don't have USB, um, you know, USB-A ports or all the ports. At least you have this adapter right here that you can use. So that's very, um, that's very thoughtful, you know, coming from scuff. It come with two extra convex um, tall thumbsticks. So if you want to adjust your height, you know, you want a little bit taller thumbstick, it comes in the box with there as well. You know, scuff, the one amazing thing about, I like about scuff's thumbstick as well is that you can add any thumbstick to it. You just pop off the faceplate and you have access to thumbsticks. It means you can add, you know, your own custom thumbsticks. You can even buy a, a, a extreme rate or any other thumbsticks that you want and just pop it in there and use it with the controller. Lastly, but not least, it come with a manual as per usual that shows you how to use the controller and um, you know and give you the warranty information and so forth, just in case you need it. Let's talk about the meat and potato of the controller. The back buttons are the buttons. There's lots of buttons. There's, in my opinion, there's like too much buttons. There is buttons on the side. There is buttons, two buttons on the side. There's also buttons on the back of the controller. Like bro, like. There is like four buttons at the back. There's also five buttons at the front. So right at the front of the touchpad, there is like five buttons and you can use them and map them to whatever you want to map them to. Obviously it's amazing. So it's a good idea to have a bunch of buttons, but I feel like for this controller, Scuff is like, yo, Scuff just snapped. You're like, you know what? I'm a, we're gonna make a controller with the most buttons in the world. <laughs> Cause if that's the goal that you're going for, definitely Scuff definitely took the victory for this one. In terms of the software, it's one of the most intuitive software that I've ever used for a custom controller. So let's go to the computer and download the software. All right. All right, so right now we're on our page. We're gonna go to scuff.co slash download. So go to scuff.co slash download and it's gonna bring up this website. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna hit that download button and it's gonna ask you to submit your you have to you can skip that. You don't have to submit your email and sign up or anything like that stupidness. So you go to download, then you're gonna make sure you load the software, right? Load up the software. It's gonna ask all kind of question, and then basically I have mine already installed, so it's telling me that like I already have the software, but you just follow the instructions and download the software. So once you bring up the, the software, it's gonna show you your control right here. It's very simple to set, to set it up. Right now I have mine connected to it wirelessly, but I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to connect it. So if you have yours, all you're gonna do is click on the controller. Right now it says wireless because mine is connected wirelessly. And you're gonna go to device settings. Once you go to device settings, you're gonna go hit on here. And you're gonna go to pair. 
So once you click the pair button, just follow the instruction that they show you. It's very simple. You're gonna ask to do a couple of things, follow the instructions, and then pair your controller, pair your scuff controller to the wireless receiver. All right. So once that's paired up, I'm gonna show you exactly how the how the how the software works. So mapping, you can basically have any mapping you want. So number one, we have the profiles, right? I have my default profile. You can put Envision profile one, two, three, or you know you can even add more profiles. You can have like a lot of different profiles. And then here's where you set the profile that you want to use. So I have my non-default profile, right? So when it comes to the hardware mapping, right? So this is what the controller normally comes with. Um, me, but mine, I have mine on my special mapping. So I map things to what I want, right? So for me, I have, I have a couple of macros and stuff that I mapped. The thing about this controller is great is that you can use macros. And once you click on, say for instance, you click on this right here, you click on this right here, right? You click add a map, and then you're gonna go here and then you're gonna click um, macros at the bottom. After you click macros, you're gonna go ahead and click the record button and then you can press whatever key. So for one of the macros I use, I use, Control to drop shot. So I can press control then I could stop the macros and I could save it. And the good thing about this is that once you save macro three, you could rename it to just, and call it, I'm gonna call it drop shot. Right, you can call it your macro drop shot and then you could assign this to a button. So once you click this right here, you can assign it to any button that you wanna assign it to. So say for instance, I'm assigning drop shot to this button right here, right? You can assign it to the back button, any button you want. And then it's saved as drop shot. So what that's gonna do when you're in the game, if you press that button, it's gonna automatically drop shot. So right now you're using the keyboard and you're using the controller at the same time. That's what makes this controller so OP, bro. You can mess around with the lighting effects. I didn't change my lighting effects. I have like some weird wave spectrum on it. And the lighting is right at the bottom right here. This lights up in whatever you want. So you can mess around with that, change the lighting all you want. The triggers, I have mine set to uh, default battles shooters, right? So I have mine set to default shooters, um, just so it's nice and snappy. That Just make sure that like your aim is just nice and really snappy. So I have my thumbsticks set to shooters and battle royale. So I have it um, set to dynamic. Because dynamic is what I use personally because dynamic it starts off fast and then it goes slow. That's how I play. And this I find that whenever you use anything else, it messes with your aim. So make sure this is not dynamic. That will help you. For me, I have vibrations to 25%. Usually I put it down to zero. You can turn up or off your vibration wherever you want. I turn mine off because I'm playing shooting games. I don't need my control to be vibrating. It's gonna mess with my aim, right? And then that's about it. You have device settings. Here you can set the brightness. You can also put the control in eco mode so it will turn off all the lights just to save the battery. It also shows you the battery status here. Um, yeah, and you can pair it and you know mess around with it, do all that stuff. Problems, what well, the problem I have with Scuff and Vision and so if I foresee that might be an issue in the future is number one, is a thumbstick module. Now, if you pop up the, the top of the controller, you might notice that it's the same thumbstick module as what's in the Scuff Reflex and the same thumbstick module you can find in the Xbox controller and most of these commercial controllers. And yes, this green thumbsticks, that this green plastic thumbstick is known to stick drift over time. So I'm just worried myself that this controller is gonna start stick drifting at some time. For me personally, it's not a big of an issue replacing the module even though it's a pain sometimes, and sometimes you can even break the motherboard doing it. I don't want to think of the fact that I have to, might have to change the module at some point in the future, because that can be a bummer for a lot of people. Not a lot of people can open your controller and work on it, but to know that the controller might break because of thumbstick drifting in the future, that's a problem. And I think I wish that was a problem that Scuff could solve in this controller. Similar to what PlayStation did with the Scuff DualSense. I hope that this was a problem Scuff could solve in this Envision. Similar to what PlayStation did with their DualSense Edge controller where they have those removable thumbstick modules just in case it starts to stick drift later on in the future. The last problem I have with the controller is customization. Customization for this controller, the Envision is very limited and it's very expensive, right? It can add up. It can easily go up to like 200 over $200 
after you start adding customization. I think $179.99 for the Scoff Envision is a perfect price for the amount of features that you get with the controller and the software customization. $179.99 is just at that sweet spot. But once you start adding, changing the colors and you start changing the button colors, the price start going up. Plus, the colors are limited. They don't really have a lot of flashy colors, a lot of flashy faceplate that you can use with the controller. So it's very, very limited and also can be very costly. So that, that to me is a major problem. In the end, I think that this controller is an amazing control. The Scott Vision Pro is basically cheating. The controller is really good. The macros that you can set on the controllers, you know, you can do stuff like, like I did where you can do a drop shot, you could do a drop shot into a jump shot. You can do so much different things with the macros. The problem with that is people can use it to cheat. And I can see people using this to toggle on and off, on and off their cheats because you can, you can basically map a button to a particular keyboard function. I use it personally for muting or unmuting, you know, my um, my voice chat in game. Just in case if I want to start smack and turn off my voice chat so other people can't hear me, I have that button to turn it on and off. It's also a mute switch as well, mute switch and volume rocker. So these are helpful to have it on the controller so you have all those customization at your fingertips. But I can see people really using this controller to cheat and adding all these to a different macro. So. That is a, a good thing, but also a bad thing at the same time, because I mean, the controller is just that amazing. In the end, would I say pick one up? I definitely say try it out, right? The good thing is that Scuff has a return policy as well. If you don't customize the controller, you can return it in up to 30 days, I believe. I put the correct date here if I'm wrong, but you have a time to try it and see if you like it. But I think you'll definitely like it. It's a nice controller. It's a little bit too big for me personally. I, I'm just gonna go back to using my scuff reflex because you know my, I have smaller hands, but it's definitely, it's a controller I will definitely use from time to time just to kind of like, you know, get that competitive advantage. It, this controller does create an advantage over other people who don't have the controller because you have extra buttons that you can use that they won't have. The four buttons on the back are placed perfectly and easy to press. The two on the side and also the two in the middle, these are so easy to press and so easy to use. So I can definitely see this being a controller that anybody would love, but the pricing is just perfect. $179.99 won't break the bank too much compared to what other custom controllers. It costs over $200 in most places to get a custom PlayStation 5 controller and that doesn't even have half the amount of features that the Envision has. It's a perfect controller basically for a person who wants that competitive edge and who use PC. Yeah, that's the biggest caveat, is that it can only be used on PC. So if you're PlayStation 5 or Xbox, too bad. Scoff to the Envision you using this controller. Hey you, thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, consider hitting that like button. Also subscribe to the channel, it helps me know that the channel is also growing. If you want to support the channel even more and you're in the market for a new controller, I sell custom controllers, you're in there in the description. You could also purchase a fully customized controller from Hex Gaming using my code Jason. That helps out the channel a lot. I also have my affiliate link in the description with all the gadgets that I use to make all these amazing videos. Bye for now and see you in the next video.